Let's take a look at some creative vocal editing techniques in Pro Tools. I have a vocal session here. There's a three part harmony going on. Let's have a listen to it. Alright, and now let's listen to what I did to those vocals with just some editing and audio suite processing. Pretty neat. Let's see how I created that. Firstly, I printed these three vocal harmonies onto one track so they could be edited together. Let's do that. Select the three tracks. Hold down Option Shift and click on the output. And select New Track. I need an audio track and let's name it Stutter Vox. Let's drag it down here. Okay, now just record enable and print the audio. So only the three harmony tracks are being recorded into this audio track. Cool. Now we can do our edits right here. Mute the originals. Let's make this track a bit taller. Now, you need to be in grid mode for these edits to sound musical. So now I can just select portions of the audio based on the grid and delete it. I'm at a 16th note grid right now. But I can change that to 30 second note for finer edits, just like the ones you see on the blue audio track below. All right, let's listen to this. Not bad, but we are hearing clicks due to the abrupt cuts in the audio. Let's solo and listen to it. We need to fade in and out every little clip, which could take a while, but I can just select the clips and using the key focus command, hit F to auto create fades on all clips. Let's hear that now. No more clicks and pops. Great. Now, other than just editing audio, I also did some audio suite processing, like over here. This sounds like a tape stop effect. Let's recreate that. Separate the clip. Go to the audio suite menu and under pitch shift, select verify. This has slow down as well as speed up. Preview it. Sounds exactly like what we need. Render. I'll leave this open and turn off the target button. Okay, let's listen to it now. Cool. So like that, you can create some pretty cool stutter effects without any third-party plugins. Slap on the crossfades on these. No problem there, just adjust bounds. This little section here, I did a speed up. Let's listen to what I did. Yes, it sounds like a speed up. I already have verify open. So switch it to speed up. Yeah, that sounds right. Render. Let's listen to what we have so far.
Nice. Now in addition to edits, you can also just duplicate sections. So I can hit Command D and this selection repeats. That sounds pretty cool. Except for the clicks, which we can address by adding the fades. I'll trim this front part here. Cool. Another thing you can do is to reverse the audio. For this, you should probably select a longer clip so it's more obvious. Maybe this section here. Go to Audio Suite. Under the Other menu, there's Reverse. Let's render that. Let's also stutter it. Add the fades. That's interesting. Now on long held notes, what I like to do is chop it up into smaller chunks and pitch shift each. Select the first, Audio Suite, Pitch Shift, and select X Form. Let's transpose this up by one semitone. Render that. Interesting. Next one I'll transpose up by 3 semitones. And this one by 7 for a fifth above. You can just enter in the transpose amount here to get it more accurate. Okay, let's hear that. Pretty cool. Let's also shorten the clips. So there you go. Some techniques to create stutter effects on vocals in Pro Tools.